How'd you feel after your first session? Oh my gosh, I felt like like I smoked J or something. I was so like relaxed and like just yeah, it felt yeah, amazing. Uh, any pain in your body? No, like yeah, you fix the hand and uh, my legs. Uh, yeah, no, I just felt great. I was like, man, I should do it every day. Yeah, like really at ease and just able to go with the flow of whatever else came up. Yeah, nothing could bug me. Good. I was like, this is great. I live in a stressful environment. You know, being a hairdresser, I just I have a lot of people talking and then dealing with this challenge and videoing every day. It's just, it's a lot going on. So uh, with the cycling and the challenges and, and everything else, we're, yeah, we're, we're moving along here, but yeah. striving forward. That's awesome. So whenever you're training to have like really high achievement in one area, whether it's your work, exercise, personal life or family, you can really train to rest and getting from this high level pace, high fast multitasking life to get down to a slower, hey, I'm just reading a book or I'm only eating dinner. I'm only having a conversation with one person. That transition from really high nervous system attunement and activity from here to here is really jarring. There is nothing smooth about this transition until you practice, right? It's like lane changing in a car. You know what to do after you learn how to drive. You you're driving, you signal, you shoulder check, and then you lane change, right? Ideally, yeah. because then you're not hitting anybody. We don't really know how, what it'll take for us to move gracefully from lane to lane of moving, hey, I'm working at my high output, yeah. to, hey, I can rest now. Because when you can rest more, you can achieve more the next time you go into that higher output state. We're always worried that if we slow down, we'll actually fall behind and it'll take more work to get back up to that cruising pace. It's completely the opposite. Oh no, I totally agree. It's just like slowing down, I can focus more and then actually get ahead on the videos mm. and I'm not so like frantic. I love that. Um, sleeping, is that an issue? Oh, no. Getting your mind I'm to like calm a, down? I'm a log. Easy to fall right yeah. off to sleep? Okay. I might parents hate that. So. <laughs> There's a, a, a component of jealousy for the for we us have, bad we sleepers. We have a kid upstairs that's just like <laughs> every and different totally direction fine. and I'm like, you hear him? I'm like, okay. out cold. Okay. So what would be the thing that you would say prevents you from wanting to slow down? Okay, that's a tough question. Yeah, like is it just maybe it's not your natural pace? You know, if you're a yeah, highly maybe, yeah. active, social, extrovert, any that's of those ask, Yeah, it'd be a deterrent, I guess, would be, uh, I don't know, mentally just not achieving, I guess? Is mm -hmm. Yeah, about? like yeah. thinking, oh. Because right point? now I have to do a video every day. Right. So it's just like I'm on, uh, you know, at the time of this video, I'm, I'm pretty deep in. And I'm, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I just have to consistently go. Yeah. And then I'm going to take a vacation after this uh, challenge. Right on. That's good. That's part of your goal. I it's, love that. I might just turn off the lights and there's my vacation. Right? You can head out to point no point and just hey, there's there's no cell reception and there's nothing to yes. do. Yes. Yeah, awesome. exactly. Uh, well, okay. We're going to have you face down. Oh, no, we're not. No, we'll have you face up today. Woohoo! Really flush out quads, um, yeah. biceps, wrist again from the opposite side. Yeah. Um, and it's a really nice way to sort of fall into your body. If you think of when you're always like, oh, you're keeping busy or very mentally drawn forward, even leaning forward of like, okay, on to the next thing. The pace is like a pull. If that pull can release a little bit and you can drop back into your body, yoga, do you do yoga? Oh yeah, yeah, of course. So like fall into the back body. Yeah. Really let everything sink. And you can also develop more of a communication between the front and the back body as well of like oh hey you're always here and yet I don't feel you simultaneously um, so it's all about relaxing tension this treatment there's one organ in particular with Chinese medicine the liver that looks after any movement in the body and tension and anything like stress is is its word um, and we use a sort of code to describe that as an, an obstruction and so I just look at it as a winding tension you have two ends of a rope and you start twirling them together that rope eventually is going to shorten in length and it starts to like bend back on itself and all of a sudden you just have this like big knot in between these two ends that you keep on 
torquing together, right? When you go to relax, it's not just a, okay, like I'm relaxed. It's actually about unwinding that tension, whether it's physically in your muscles and tendons, or whether it's energetically of anxiety or, oh my God, I'm overwhelmed. I have so much to do. And so the word relax kind of bothers me. I like the word unwind because it has yeah. more of the action involved because somebody goes, oh, relax. And I just say, how? Hmm. I understand where you want me to get to, but that word does not tell anything in me what to do. And so unwind is a really nice way that you can ride on the breath and just go, okay, tension. We're just, we're releasing some of that. Yeah. So that's right.